everyone, Joel Answer. Today we're outside the Daiquiri Den, the Daiquiri Den in Grand Prairie, yes, Grand Prairie, Texas, which is basically Dallas, Texas, or Dallas area. Two, dude, guys, the biggest, the world's biggest catfish platter challenge. I love catfish, where you're kind of like in the south, you're in Texas, catfish, fried fish, fried foods in general are just such a staple. So I'm so excited to try this out. So for this platter, we have, guys, you're gonna die. You're gonna won't believe how big this is. 40, 40, 40, 40, yeah, 40, 40 pieces of catfish served with a big thing of fries. You do have a one hour time limit to get the meal for free. The meal is definitely a bit up there. I think it's like $200 or something if we fail, but we are in the quest for the free meal, which hopefully we'll be able to get. Um, this thing is undefeated. I can understand why. There's about 10 pounds of catfish plus, oh my gosh, guys, plus everything. But luckily, I love catfish. So anyway, let's head in, let's have some fun, let's eat some food. Um, this actually is a daiquiri bar, like a frozen daiquiri bar, hence the name. So they have like all the, you know, blended slushy type, type daiquiri drinks. Um, I'm not a big drinker, but that being said, I'm sure they're all delicious. But anyway, let's go try out some food, guys. Let's eat some catfish. I love catfish, I love Texas. And then guys, with that, let's go in, let's have some fun, let's eat some food. Let me down below if you like fried fish. Quick, give me a hashtag fish. And with that, let's go eat. All right, everybody, so here we are with the challenge. Absolutely insane. 10 pounds of fish by itself. Then we have the big thing of fries back here. You can't see them because it's covered in fish. Um, again, I do have a whole bunch of sauces here, which we'll have. Of course, like tartar sauce, ketchup, lemons if I want it. Let me know if you like lemon on your fish down below. But that's about it, guys. So uh, this probably will kill me. We do have 60 minutes to complete the challenge, and I am glad because I'm, it's a lot, a lot, a lot of food, we'll put it that way. But super cool spot, this place looks gorgeous. It's shrimp, it's fried ribs on the menu. Guys, fried ribs, it sounds pretty dang good. And I did make a promise to the cook that if I'm not dead afterwards, I would try fried ribs. So hopefully I will not die. Um, but besides that, guys, I'm ready to get rock and roll. I do have 30 of the normal, and then I have 10 of, this is a real special. This is a hot lemon pepper catfish. I've never had something like that. So it actually is brushed with a, uh, I believe it's a buffalo sauce, and then a lemon pepper on top, which sounds delicious. So with that, guys, let's get started here. Just momentarily. So how about we get started, guys? Let's say maybe a count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat. Amazing crunch. That fish is cooked right. It's very good. I like it. I like catfish in general. It's good catfish. Woo! Great like batter is seasoning on it. It's like a cornmealish batter. I love it. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. And before we get started, let me know how you like your fish cook down below. I gotta say, fried is pretty dang good, but I do enjoy a baked and you know, all that. Well, even raw, let's be honest. So let me know how you like your fish cook down below. And at that, let's get into this. So here we have the world's biggest catfish platter challenge. Undoubtedly, with 40 pieces of catfish, a whole bunch of fries, man, this thing was huge. Yeah, they're like, it's 40 pieces. Guys, this is 40 pieces. Look how big this is. This is net. <laughs> this could feed like 10 people. <laughs> Only. So we're at the Daiquiri Den in Grand Prairie, Texas, and I didn't really know what to expect. I mean, this place is a daiquiri bar with a kitchen, and I gotta say, they had great catfish. Flavor, and it truly was simplicity at its best, using a real quality catfish filet, and then just kind of some Louisiana fish fry, which was great. Oh, and the fries, I think it's like a seasoned Parmesan fry or something like that. So, pretty cool. This is my favorite kind of preferred kind of batter or fish fry, however you want to call it, being that kind of cornmeal grit on that catfish. I think it just goes so well with the flavor. It's such a nice texture. It is a little bit more like abrasive 
um, you know, than something like a beer batter, but it's also a lot less heavy. It just a lot, feels a lot lighter in your stomach, in your palate, in your mouth. It just doesn't seem as oily. And uh, I gotta say, I think this is the traditional way uh, to serve catfish or, you know, southern fried fish versus a beer batter. But hey, like I said, that's my preference. Should you feel it? Like, let me know if uh, you prefer kind of a cornmeal batter or a, well, beer batter or whatever kind of other batter you want to call it down below. I can now fit some of these sauces on the platter. I couldn't before. It was that big. This is absolutely delicious. I really, I haven't eaten the sauces yet. But I do love me some sauces, so we're gonna get in those here just momentarily, that's for sure. So the fish itself actually did weigh 10 pounds, it was legit 10 pounds of fish, and then it was battered, so it actually could have even been more. Um, then we had the pound and a half to two pounds of french fries, which you can barely see under all the fish there. Trying some hot sauce, guys. Woo! Hey guys, I screamed with them just for the sake of it. Oh, that is money. It is good. It's very good. Mm. I guess they're eating catfish too. With hot sauce. Woo! Guys, amazing catfish. Throwing in that delicious hot sauce. Now this challenge was undefeated and I definitely see why. I mean, it's just a sheer, you know, crazy amount of food. That being said, the 60 minute time limit was more than warranted. This is an expert level challenge, even if you put a 24 hour time limit on it. I mean, you know, the fact that you have, let's say 12 pounds of food here is just absolutely absurd. I mean, the vast majority of people, even if they're, you know, high level food challengers can't eat that much. So I knew we were definitely in for a ride, but I had all my sauces. I had my hot sauce and my ketchup, which are my favorite mix. I had my lovely tartar sauce and ketchup there, also a favorite mix. Um, but yeah, between the variety of different hot sauces I actually had, again, as I explained, I had multiple hot sauces, all my favorite sauces. I knew we were gonna be in for a treat. And catfish is definitely one of my favorite foods, like a good Southern fried catfish. And this was a good Southern fried catfish. I'll just put it that way. But besides that, again, we were in the quest for the free uh, $200 meal, and that was about that. So hopefully we can finish on up. A huge thanks to staff, they're very courteous. Thanks to everybody who came out to watch. We have great support in the DFW area. And uh, let me know if I should come back to DFW. You know, Dallas, Texas is a great spot. So let me know down below. I will say, my mouth is a little ripped up from how delicious this cabbage is. It's just because it means so much, but I love it. This is the best. Catfish had in a long, long, long time. And all about that sauce, guys. I love it. So Catfish and Frank's is definitely a buy. I'll try it now with Tabasco. All the options. Let me know your favorite hot sauce down below. I do love me. All of the above. Woo -wee. We're gonna put that right there. Can I get some more of the Frank's hot sauce, please? Thank you. All right. Try this out. Tabasco. Mm. All the very good. Let's catch back action. Oh yeah. Mmm. Praise God. <laughs> Everybody. Ketchup and hot sauce. You have to try it if you have it. Like this button. Like this button. What am I saying? The catfish is getting me. Hit that like button, guys, if you like ketchup or hot sauce on your fish or both. You better give me a comment down below. Mm. And the beautiful thing about this catfish, it's super crispy on the outside. Very, very moist. Moist on the inside. Does anybody here hate that word? Some people really hate that word, moist. I don't really know why. 
That's the German shot. Really good, actually. Mm. Gonna try some tartar sauce and hot sauce mix. Mm. Oh yeah. I think we're coming on about nine minutes in. So good so far. I'm thoroughly loving this, guys. And like, I am really enjoying this. Make sure this is focusing on my face. I love, love, love catfish, and this is the ultimate treat. This is a Joel-style meal right here. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Compliments to the chef, I really mean that. <coughs> Excuse me. This is like everything I've ever wanted in life, guys. Just want to make Joel happy, just get him a big tray full of catfish. All right, I think we got time. I tried this hot lemon pepper catfish, which looks awesome. Here, I'll show you right close. So we got the brushed catfish, lemon pepper. Not very. Okay. Well, that's enough. Why are you giving me these? Why do we have hush puppies? Where did these come from? Okay, well. Now we got seven hush puppies on them. Anyway, nonetheless, guys, really, really good. It's just a light addition, but you get a little bit more of that sweetness from that buffalo. It's a little bit of sweet sauce, a little bit of lemon pepper. It was good. And this is right off the menu. I think they're a little too generous here. They're trying to give you more food, guys. This is a 40 piece, 40 piece of cabbage is not enough. Oh god. I forgot how good the freaking hot sauce combo was. Mm. We're back to French. Very good. My sodium is not gonna be low today, I'll put it that way. Woo, we're definitely filling up. Lots of fish, it's delicious. It has been flying so far. I'm filling up though, it's probably slow down a little bit. Oh, feel it for sure. People might say like, how do you feel? I'm like, well, I'm definitely not hungry, that's for sure. <laughs> I've had a lot of fish. Okay, here we go, it's about 15 minutes in. Let's just appreciate that a daiquiri bar has amazing catfish. Hell right. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Even after eating almost 40 pieces, it's still very enjoyable which is amazing. It speaks a lot to the quality of food. Ugh. And no shortage. Tartar sauce. Tartar sauce. I need my proper pronunciation. 
Like I said, guys, comments to the chef. Woo. All right, but we are on the final. Uh, what's this? Seven pieces of fish. Woo. So let me just. I didn't even see the fries because there's that much fish. Four pieces of catfish and a big thing of fries. Well, I will, I'll put it this way. I think it's probably between a pound and a half, two pounds. What I do appreciate about this, this is just a reasonable portion of fries in conjunction to the catfish. So I really do appreciate that. Shout out to the Daiquiri Den guys. So let's be honest. I came here for the fish. And holy crap, they delivered. That's for sure. And if you made it to this point in the video, first off, thank you so much for watching. We're gonna play one of our jokes on the skippers. So this is where we're gonna comment something in the comments down below. And if somebody reads it and just skips through the video, they're gonna have to come look for that point in the video. So with that, I want you to comment down below. Sorry about your pants, Joel. That must have been embarrassing. Or, you know, have fun with it. Maybe say, good thing you had it depends on, Joel. But sorry about your pants. That must have been a little messy and embarrassing. But you guys rock. Thank you so much. And I appreciate you. Thank you. Alright guys, last piece of catfish. Going down. Now, one full bottle of ketchup later. An ungodly amount of hot sauce, tartar sauce, an unspeakable amount of sodium. Do you have some more ketchup? And we are down to french fries. And now hush puppies. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Woo! All right, everybody. And we are, I think, about 23 minutes in. So we're making ways. Waves, uh, I should say, you know, fish after all, but no storage. Oh my lord. We are. Thank you. Ooh. Let's get this, uh, get these fries, John. Like I said, there's a, I think it's a, a lemon pepper. Excuse me. Something on here? Let's see what. Mm. Ooh. Lemon pepper and fry spice, maybe, or Cajun or something? Ooh, ooh, kind of barbecuey. Do you use a fry spice? It's really good, actually. And they did have like loaded fries, they could have got loaded fries, but saving the calories of that. Those ones have like cheese and maybe more cheese and bacon and stuff on them. And there are crinkle cut fry. One of my favorite kind of fry down below. You see what? Straight, crinkle, curly. This is funny, but this is my thought. Because I was like, wow, this is going to be like really sound really funny. But this is the first French fry I've had in a really long time I've actually enjoyed. <laughs> like that fry spice, whatever they're on, it's like a barbecue chip. It is so good. I eat a lot of fries, let's be honest, and like often they're just fries, but these are not just fries. Daiquiri Dead guys, catfish and fries. Who do I know?
And no, the like two bottles of ketchup were not part of the challenge. <laughs> totally optional. Whew. We're down to hush puppies and chill. <laughs> you can see them on screen, you get the, the point. Oh. Try a hush puppy and is there a jalapeno in it? Jalapeno. Mm. I mean, if not for those hush puppies, it's basically deep fried cornmeal, just with jalapenos in them. And it tastes exactly like deep fried cornmeal with jalapenos in it. We're done. Thank you. All right, everybody, there we go. About 31 minutes. Got the exact time on screen. I think it was just over, I think it might have been like 31.05, maybe 31. We had the exact 31.05, look at that. So, woo. Well, that works too, that works too. I was just catching my breath. All right, everybody, I gotta say. Uh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. Listen, I promise you I am civilized most of the time, but on camera, I mean, I gotta give my comments to the chef, and what a better way than literally a visceral expression. I gotta say, that was fantastic. That catfish was, don't get me wrong, it's a daiquiri bar, but holy crap, guys, it is a kitchen too. I gotta say, that catfish was awesome. The crunch was incredible. I loved, of course, like with the little additions of the hot sauce. This was really cool to do with the uh, hot lemon pepper. I've never actually seen a, hot, a catfish come like pre-dressed, if that makes sense. So that was really unique, um, but guys, I loved it. That was delicious catfish. Um, whatever we put on those fries were actually really good. It's a great fry spice. Really does taste like a, uh, it's almost like a barbecue chip, something, something. I don't know. Whatever it was, it was delicious. Um, I know they said it's a secret, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to them about that after. I say that much. I want, I want all my fries for forever to taste like that. I'm gonna be somewhere else and be like, hey, by the way, can you just put this spice on it? Delicious. But that everybody, um, Fabio Duke Mill Fruit, is pretty cool. Um, what I would say is I'd really actually recommend coming by and trying the food here. I'm sure the other stuff is great. The catfish was great. You don't need to eat 40 pieces. You don't need to eat a platter this freaking big. But if you had a party, maybe like a, not even just a family, like a family reunion, maybe then I could quant, you know, justify you getting something like this. But definitely come get an order of the uh, normal size order catfish. It was great. Um, and that everybody had no complaints. So Grand Prairie, Texas, Dallas area. You've been awesome. Thanks everybody for coming out. Really appreciate you guys. <laughs> had a good showing here today. Much appreciated, much love down here in Texas. Love it. Um, but that everybody, I got no complaints. No other words. So until next time, of course, say happy, I'll be hungry, happy eating, and until next time, I gotta reach, this is a huge tray, guys. Have a lovely day. Hi, everybody, so I got me some of their ribs. This is the deep fried or fried ribs. I've never actually had a fried rib before. 
everybody's partying and having fun now that the, they're not worried about being quiet for the video. I also got some uh, barbecue sauce. But anyway, guys, this is the one uh, chef, Rachel. Hop on in here, hop on in here. Thanks for everything. She cooked the catfish perfectly. This, this is her own recipe. And uh, she's a longtime follower and supporter, so I appreciate the love. And uh, so what, what what do we got going on here? Obviously it's a rib, it looks battered, fried. It is a fried rib. If you never had one, you don't know what you're missing. Well I never I haven't, so I'm glad to find out. I guess Dakri Den let's come on by. So Dakri Den to find out. Should baby. try it with or without the sauce? Try it without first. Without first, let's go. Woo! It's fresh. It's very fresh. Oh yeah. It's hot. But really good flavor. There's some like um, push that spice. All that good stuff. Can't tell you my secret. <laughs> Alright, so maybe I won't know, but I'm going to try to check it. Give it a little like onion and garlic in there. There's some kind of herb. It's a very like fresh herb. I don't know what it is, but it is good. And talk about tender. That rib just was fall off like that bone. Never had one like it. No, never had one. So, hey guys, big steaming fried rib. Try it in this barbecue sauce. All right. Because why not? Why not? That's all the way to go. Put your hot sauce on it. I was just gonna say, so you're gonna have to do it. Hot sauce. Yep. Yeah. Well, there, buddy. Good to go. I'm gonna enjoy this ribs. The southern fried rib. That's right, southern fried southern rib, guys. Southern fried rib. Hey, thanks for everything, yeah, Rachel. Welcome. I appreciate you. Come on down to the deck, we're doing try us out, baby. There you go, guys. Until right. next time, everybody. Thank you. Thanks so much. It is good, though. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.